So again, the key for me in this, right, so I like this one initial setup for the arm bar, because I'm going to have virtually the same initial reaction if he pulls away almost every time. The finishes are going to be different, right, but that same initial reaction is pretty consistent for me, right? So I open, I come in, I get this grab. If he lets me control this, obviously pull in and start to work, right? If I start to control and he rips that out, my reaction is almost always the same, right? So I still have this connection. The foot goes to the hip, and I bring this leg over. That's fine, keep there. But now look where his arm is this time. It's in a different position, right? The arm can be in a different position every time, depending on where when we start. Sometimes it's going to be here. Sometimes it's going to be here. Sometimes it's going to be kind of curled up in here. That's fine, all right? So we have the one where we know if the arm's straight. We have that nice little attack that we can do, all right? If his arm's back here, I'm going to end up holding his elbow, holding his wrist, and pushing forward, all right? We're actually getting a nice tighter grip and finishing the more traditional camera. Sometimes when it's like in the middle here, it's kind of jumped up. Instead of going for these other attacks, I'll just control a little bit. I'll rock back, bring my leg out, and go over. All right, and this is when we start working up all of our field plot of setups, right? Now from here, again, there's different approaches if the arm's here, different approaches if the arm's here, but there's still attacks from all these different angles, right? The key for me to make all of this as easy as possible is hooking that far arm this way. So the second I go over the head, I'm looking to hook the forearm. The second I get over the head, I want to hook the forearm. And I do that by, again, elevating my butt in the air, bringing my heel in tight to my butt. Once I have this hooked, now I have more opportunity to kind of take my, take my time or you know, decide what it is I want to do. If he wants to try and step over my body now, step over my body now, this, it's going to be much more challenging, much more twisted up. All right? It's easy in this case now to finish the arm here. All right? All right. Or it's also easy where we can end up attacking the forearm where I swing, finish this one. Right? So we have different options. But again, the key isn't so much what the failed product I'm worried about, it's more the reaction. So it's more kind of as a drill. We grab, I pull, he pulls out. Oh, don't say that in jujitsu. Right. <laughs> he removes his arm forcibly. All right? Then I come through. All right? Again, I always have to be careful if he starts to try and jump over me. So if I'm in a situation here, I can block. All right? So go ahead and come back up. Once I'm here, butt up in the air, heel towards my own butt. Hook the far arm. Now I have my choice. This time his arm's on this side. Sit up, finish. His arm comes to this side. Hook the elbow, control. Make sense? All right, again, the most important part of this is that reaction. Oh, he pulls out. Damn. Moves his shoulders to the side as he forcibly removes his arm. <laughs> Foot to the hip, and we bring it over. And we're expecting him to potentially try and jump over us, so we have to prepare for it. Make sense? Cool, let's go.